Hello, I'm Peter, I'm MM's technical guy. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fit a solar panel um, to the roof of your motorhome. First thing you want to do, tighten up the gland. They tend to be supplied just uh, as a push fit. Put the outer cap on loosely for now. I've already looked underneath. We want to be drilling the hole between the aerial and the outlet for the heating. I want to get it quite close to the aerial because I want to run it down the left-hand side of the wardrobe. Loads of room there. We need to get our feet out. Basically, the panel sits above these feet. So we need to get it rested on the feet. These are plastic mouldings and you basically, there's no holes drilled in them. You bond the outer edge all the way around here and that will hold the panel in place. Okay, it's roughly in position. Just mark the position of these feet, because that's what we're interested in, where the feet go. This will also stop mess from the ceiling. Now we could just glue the feet straight to the roof. The problem with that is they might get misaligned. So I think it's a better plan to attach the feet to the solar panel first and then bomb the whole thing in place. To do that, we need to drill holes in these plastic feet. What I'm gonna do now is just attach these to the solar panel. So we just drill the pilot hole through here. So this is straight into the aluminium panel. You don't wanna to use too much pressure with small drill bits, they're dead easy to snap. So just be patient, don't force it through, let the drill bit do the work. We'll just get a screw in just to hold it in place. Okay, so we've got that um, foot attached. It's quite secure on the screws. So I'm not going to bother with any sealant or bonding, it's not going to add anything. Once we've got all four of these feet on, we'll then get it roughly in position, then lift it up, apply the glue, stick it down, and uh, just position it using these, these guides. Right, so let's go and do that now. got our solar panel in place now. We've screwed the solar panel to the feet. We've bonded all the feet in place with the sealant adhesive supplied by the solar panel manufacturer. We've got our rubber grommet in place. This will stop the cable uh, wearing through and touching the aluminium roof. We're going to fuse it anyway, but it's just a bit of belt and braces. That's not the only form of sealing. There's also this outer seal here, and we're going to be gluing this cable gland cover. Right, we've done all the external fitting, everything's glued in place. All we need to remember is to tighten up that gland nut, but leave it all overnight, let all the glue set, then tighten that up. Next, we move on the internal part of the fit, which is connecting the two wires from the solar panel up to your motorhome's wiring. And I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, we've finished uh, working on the roof. So now we've got to attach this wire to our control unit. Now, we can't just wire it straight into the control unit. It has to go via one of these little gizmos. It's basically a charge controller. What it does, at the moment, the solar panel is producing about 20 volts. It's in bright sunlight, so it's producing about 20 volts. Obviously, that's too much for the batteries. This little gizmo regulates the charge, sorts out the charge for the battery so that it's within acceptable limits for the battery. You've always got to use a solar charge regulator uh, controller when you're fitting a solar panel don't just wire them direct to the battery because you'll fry your battery we've got to cut these wires um, to attach to our solar charge controller um, but obviously our solar panel is producing charge at the moment so i've covered it with a cardboard box that it came in to try and limit that and we need to carefully cut through the outer sheathing and each cable uh, individually wire it into the solar charge controller 
Then we're going to run a feed from the solar charge controller into the control unit. We've made um, a small sub loom made up out of the, the flax that came with the, the solar panel. Um, I think it's 2.5 millimeters squared. It's basically Arctic cable. So these, we've also attached an earth point using a voltmeter to check where we got a good earth. Um, I got a good earth on the um, metal part of the Truma boiler. So I've attached an earth cable to that and then I've teed my red positive feed um, into the, let me just check the colour, the brown and blue striped wire from the EC200 control unit. Now, as I say, the colour of the wire will vary. The usual clue, if it's the, bio, the, the wire going to the leisure batteries, that it will be a great big fat cable. So look for the great big fat cable. What I did with that was I paired back the insulation and then I soldered in a fused connection, which, which you've just seen. The fuse isn't in at the moment, so none of these are live, so we can work with these. So the next step is to connect the solar panel wires, which I've trimmed down to size, and the output wires to the battery. So that's going to the battery, leisure battery, that's coming from the solar panel. So we need to connect the two together via this little solar charge controller gizmo. So we're going to attach it to the wall here. It needs to be in a visible place so you can see what's happening with your batteries and it basically will tell you if the battery is being charged, if it's near empty, the battery level. There's various um, LED colours depending on uh, the charge state. So we'll get that screwed to the wall first, then we'll wire everything in. Very important, always check your earths before you do anything, always check your earths with a voltmeter. Um, I've checked it with the, the multimeter and we've got 12.47 volts at the battery. The solar panel, which is covered up by cardboard, is producing six volts. So what I'm going to do now is I've checked all the, the various different connections. I'm going to put the fuse in. We've got the uh, solar panel, it's in full sun now, nice bright day. Um, seems to be chucking out plenty of voltage, so let me just see what we're getting out of it now. About 13.3, and the leisure battery is showing 13.1. So, yeah, we are charging up the leisure battery. So all we've got to do, we've got to finish off, just neaten up these cabling with P-clips, put the panels back, but other than that, we're all done. We're all working, we're generating electricity from the sun and it's topping up our leisure battery. So um, that's how to fit a solar panel. <laughs>